Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this special BYOB website presentation. Um, today, we're going to make a comparison of Thesis 1.8.4 and Genesis 1.8. The reason why I'm making this comparison is because a few months ago, we decided that we were going to add video lessons about using Genesis to BYOB website. And in my experience from teaching other complementary tools like WPE Store and Shop, as soon as you start talking about another potential solution, people ask you, what solution should they use? And so it seemed to me like the best thing to do would be to do a comprehensive comparison of the two, to create a presentation like this for that so people can go and watch it themselves and get their own answer to the question. And so that's what we're going to do today. There are a lot of blogs out there or posts out there about comparing Genesis to Thesis, but they're all old relatively. Thesis 1.8.4 is really the state of the art for Thesis and is potentially the high water mark right now for Thesis for some time to come. Genesis 1.8 is a major upgrade update of Genesis and also represents a very mature location for Genesis and so neither of these things have been compared together so far as I can tell so that's really the intention here is to provide you with the best possible information given the circumstances. We're going to go for about 90 minutes, so probably be 60 minutes or so for this presentation. It might not take that long. And then I'm going to entertain questions after that. Uh, a number of people have already asked me questions in their registration form. But if you, have a, if you have a question that comes up, please feel free to use that question box there in your GoToWebinar dialog to pose the question. And then when we get to the Q&A session, I will... If you've got a microphone, I'll call on you, and if you don't have a microphone, or then I'll just do my best to answer the question as you've written it. But, so, uh, I mean, this will be interesting for everybody if you ask your question, so please feel free to ask your question. That's always a folks' favorite part of these presentations, so. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare thesis to Genesis in 10 key areas. First we're going to look at the intended use, then we're going to look at child themes, and then third plugins, SEO, site speed, and then we'll look at page layouts, customizing the appearance of the theme without coding, customizing the appearance of the theme with coding, their support, and then finally their license. I think uh, by the time we're finished with looking at these 10, you'll be able to, hopefully you'll be able to draw your own conclusions as to what's appropriate in your situation. Now, in fact, what I'm going to do right now is give you my conclusions. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't really want to watch a 90-minute webinar on the subject, then here's where I cut to the chase. All the rest of the stuff is just explanation for this. So this is my conclusion. First, both themes are rock solid with mature code base. That is, they are both spectacular choices. Each of them has world-class SEO tools built in. Both of them are very fast and efficient in comparison to other WordPress themes. And it's my opinion that regardless of which choice you make, you're not going to outgrow that choice. You will be able to make a choice and, as a general rule, I think stick with that choice unless you have some specialized need that one choice doesn't supply you with. Now that's a very general conclusion which doesn't help you make a decision. Now I'm going to give you a specific conclusion but I want to I want to qualify who this this conclusion is for, or who this recommendation is for. This recommendation is for a small business owner who is developing their own site. So it's not a good recommendation for a web developer or a web designer um, it's not a good recommendation for a developer who works for, on other people's sites. This is a, a recommendation for an individual who is working on their own site and who may know some HTML and CSS or PHP, but you don't really intend to code for a living. And that's who this recommendation is for. The recommendation may be different for, in other contexts. 
but this is really my customer base right this is what I assume my customer base is I know we I have a bunch of web designers that are also members of BYLB website but the majority of my my members are small business owners who are working on their own site and that's who this conclusion is really for and the conclusion is this use the Genesis theme if you want a very polished look with a minimum amount of effort and if you don't mind if your site looks similar to others now it's, it's certainly the case that your site is not likely to look identical to others but some of the Genesis child themes have very strong design features and a site that's built off of those will look similar to another site that's built off of it but if you want a very polished look with the least amount of effort and if you don't mind that your site has some similarities then use Genesis on the other hand you'll use thesis if your site absolutely has to be unique in appearance and you are willing to spend the time and effort to learn how to customize it that is thesis it's easier for a person who is a small business owner who knows a little bit of HTML CSS and PHP it's easier for that person to customize the appearance of their site with thesis than it is with Genesis however it does require that they spend and invest a bunch of time learning how to do that 